Okay, to finish up this uh, aspect of projections, I'd like to take a quick look at the uh, some of the characteristics and terminology with surveying. So the historical thing uh, meets and bounds uh, a lot of the eastern and southeastern United States, and they have uh, pretty interesting ways of describing the corners of properties and so on. Uh, for example, here, uh, this is 1810, um, is a property transfer and a description, you know, beginning at the mouth of a branch of an ash stump, up the creek, uh, 20 poles to two beech trees, then 41 poles to a small walnut tree. So you can see that the description is, is kind of a uh, interesting one since the uh, walnut trees eventually die and move on. So uh, if you were to, to kind of map out the property line you would get this kind of a description. Cadastral survey means an official boundary survey is performed by the uh, United States Code. So the idea is to mark and put some definition and resurvey, re-establish the boundaries uh, kind of from that original one to ones that included some more iron pins and, and you know basically trying to reestablish where things were. A uh, reference here to the Bureau of Land Management. Uh, you can kind of get to uh, click on a state and some of the states over here have, have got some uh, information. Uh, this gives you kind of an, an idea down here June of uh, 2009. Uh, some of the uh, geographic base data that was uh, accumulated for different states. Each state's uh, working on this in their own, own way. So the non-coordinate system, which is the Public Land Survey System, so PLSS, um, was established at a later time. So these are the coordinate systems here, and these are the Public Land Survey systems here. And again, another um, reference to the Bureau of Land Management. So each of these have got some history associated with them. So for example, here's the, the baseline 1870 and the uh, primary meridian that's established them, the Indian meridian cinnamon. They, so they define these things in terms of um, you know what was happening. If you want to dig this into a little bit deeper, uh, cadastral.com, um, you know, they're involved in trying to preserve and retrace this uh, land survey system. Uh, and this is just an example of, um, this was an example of uh, one of the problems or statements that they had had trying to establish this, at, you know, halfway up this uh, mountainside over here was uh, the point that they were trying to identify. Uh, another reference, the official federal land records, GLOR records, general land office records. Um, so you've got some information there to public, public and federal lands. So Jefferson put this uh, PLSS together to pay for debts to the war soldiers. It's a grid system, six square mile sections. East-west is oriented into ranges and north-south uh, are townships. So you've got the baseline and the meridian and then starting from the intersection, so this would be township one north, range one east, township two north, range two east. So establishing this um, this method of dividing these by uh, township and range. A little history, um, the U.S. a foot is 12 inches and many people have used a foot as a measurement. A mile was how far the Roman Legion could go in 100 paces. Uh, an acre was the area that oxen could plow in one day. Uh, 
going older, a rod was 16 and a half feet, which was the length of a, of a pole for um, controlling a team of oxen. A chain was 66 feet, or four rods. Furlong was 10 chains. A mile was 80 chains. This is kind of a reference as to where some of this came from. Okay, so the numbering system for a, a township diagram uh, kind of works in this uh, reverse serpentine. So 1 through 6 backwards, then 7 through 12. So zigzags back and, and back and forth. So again, another, another view of that. Township lines um, running horizontally and range lines vertically. And then you subdivide. So you subdivide a northwest quarter, um, which would make sense. This would be the west half of the southwest quarter, east half of the southwest quarter, and so on. So then the definition of, of a property could be said, stated as the northeast quarter of the northeast quarter of section 5, township 101, range 35, you know, etc. So this would be written, written out uh, in shorthand like this. Okay, so these um, sections, these grids, were not completely perfect and you can see them laid out in this reference to the National Atlas uh, and you can kind of see that you know some places they're a nice grid and other places they have some strange things going on. Uh, likely the strange things were because that at, at the time that this was created um, there were already establishments in that area so in order to um, kind of preserve what had already been done they left that alone and just did the grid work outside of that. And on that you can use the information key and you know click on these on these guys and you can see some of their sizes and they're, they're shifted so it's not a not a perfect world but the bottom line is it can't be changed. A couple of examples in Minnesota. Topographically, um, we've got some of these grids on here of the PLSS are just faintly discernible. You might be able to see that better in some of these. Here's a little bit better. So here's the six by uh, six mile by six mile grid, and here's the reference to the location up here. So range five or fifteen, range sixteen, uh, township twenty three north. Etc. So uh, over the course of Minnesota, for example, these would be the standard uh, meridians and these would be the baselines for the parallels. And then the grid associated with that. Again, another example of the, the grids laying on top of a, of a topographical map. And very clearly here, here's the reverse um, numbering, 14, 15, 16, then 21, 22, 23. Down in the left corner of uh, topographical maps, they do start to, you know, kind of identify this is a 1927 North American, uh, which classified back in 1973, field checked in 74. Grid marks based on the Minnesota coordinate system, central zone, uh, zone 15, universal transverse mechatar. And some of the information that relates these back together. So there's your range this would be headed this way, range 12, range 13, and so on. So the state plane coordinate 
coordinate systems, they use the conformant cormals or transverse mercantile, depending on whether it's a kind of a vertical uh, uh, state or a horizontal state. That gives you a, a fair introduction to some of the characteristics of projections and some of the terminology that you may see from maps uh, along the line.